In the male, the penis becomes straight and hard, called an erection. In the female, the vagina produces a slippery substance, all for a very good reason. If the conditions are right, the two halves of the human life machine can come together into one marvelous mechanism that can create new life. It's private. It's the expression of strong urges and feelings, and it's a very special part of being human, and it's called intercourse. Both the male and female are feeling very good right now, and soon there's an explosion of feelings called an orgasm. Something very important happens then. A small amount of liquid called semen which contains millions of sperm cells is pumped from the male half of the machine to the female half. Comprende? So that's how the sperm cell gets there. What's next? Dr. D, uh, maybe you could take a moment. Hey, sorry, not now, because it's time for... Mystery of Life! The story of sperm and eggs searching for each other throughout the female reproduction system. Searching so that they can... Create human life! Let's just go with them on this. <clears throat> An egg from the right ovary begins to travel down the right fallopian tube. Her name? Emmy Lou Egg. Oh, sperm sales? Yoo-hoo! During intercourse, 350 million sperm cells were placed inside the vagina. We join their journey already in progress. About a million sperm cells make it through the opening into the uterus. Hi. See, the sperm cells are equipped with a tail, and when it wiggles, the sperm moves forward. Some sperm cells have lost their way completely. Maybe it's this way. <coughs> Maybe it's this way. <coughs> Maybe it's this way. <coughs> Some sperm cells have made it to the opening of one of the two fallopian tubes. Follow me! Ah, uh, hi again. See, usually the ovaries take turns making eggs. Sperm cells may enter a tube, but it's very possible they will choose the wrong one. Keep your fingers crossed. Meanwhile, Emmylou Egg has almost reached the uterus. Hello? Pregnancy won't occur if Emmylou is in the uterus. The sperm cells have to reach Emmylou before she gets there, or it'll be too late. About a thousand sperm cells enter the correct fallopian tube, but time is running out. Some sperm cells can't make it. Oh, boy. Will the sperm cells live? If they do live, will they reach Emmy Lou Egg before she reaches the uterus? Isn't this exciting? Now, back to... <clears throat> uh, Dr. D, the menstrual cycle? Oh, yeah. Uh, here's a quiz. About how often is a new egg produced in one of the ovaries? About every 28 days. Hey, they were awake. That process is called the menstrual cycle. Think of it as a wheel, with spokes representing roughly 28 days. I say roughly because every woman's cycle is slightly different. A new egg is developing inside the ovary during this time. It travels through the fallopian tube during this time, and it reaches the uterus at this time. If the egg hasn't met a sperm, which is usually the case, the egg, along with the uterus lining, flows out of the female's body through the vagina. This flowing is known as a period, and it lasts for about five days. Then a new lining will begin to form for the next egg, and the cycle starts all over again. Now, intercourse is what brings sperm into the system, and intercourse can happen at any time during the cycle, say here or here. But human life can begin only when both the sperm and the egg are in the same place at the same time. Only if intercourse occurs during these days. Because that's when the egg is traveling through the fallopian tube to the uterus, right? Exactly! If intercourse occurs at any other time, the chances of beginning new life are slim. Not impossible, but slim. And now, back to the exciting conclusion of... Mystery of Life! About a hundred sperm cells in the right fallopian tube are now close to Annie Lou. There she is! The egg! We made it! I'm tired. Really big, huh? The sperm cells try to penetrate through Emmy Lou's outer layer. At last, one, 
named Steve, breaks through. He did it! The genetic instructions fuse into one, creating the plan for a million different functions that make up a human being. And at that moment, there occurs the miracle of new life. New human life. Wow. But we've only seen how it begins. Oh, there's so much more. How does the baby develop? How is it born? And you probably have all kinds of questions about feelings. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's confusing. And what about all those words like morals, masturbation, and AIDS? Wow, there's so much to tell, but we're about out of time. But chances are there's someone nearby, like a parent or teacher, who knows the answers. And here's some Dr. D advice. Don't be afraid to ask, but ask someone who knows. Asking your friends about sex may be less embarrassing than asking a parent, but your friends may give you the wrong information, and that's dangerous. Now, what am I going to do with all these boring house plans? Uh, excuse me, do you have a moment now, Dr. D? Oh, all right, go ahead. <clears throat> I sketched out a little idea for a house. Huh, not boring, but not much better either. So, if we take half of this plan and half of this plan and mix them together, we get a new plan which is altogether unique. Now, that's a house. Hey! I'm so happy I could boogie again! You ready? Take the cow and the koala and the pig and the impala and the squirrel and the kangaroo And the tigers and the toucans all make babies, baby, you can see they're not so different from you! You, 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 you see they're not so different from you! For the chicken, goat, and llama There's a reason we come two by two And when you're married to a mate You're part of living things in nature And your babies will be part of you too Two to two to two to two to two You know your babies will be part of you too Two to two to two to two to two to two You know your babies will be part of you too Two to two to two to two to two You know your babies will be part of you too Two to two to two to two to two You know your babies will be part of you too